Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. I have a quick tip today that was sent to me by Nico, and you can find him at nicomedia.at. He's got a Patreon, a bunch of tutorials, and great stuff on there. So huge shout out to Nico for sending this quick tip. All right, so here's the tip. A lot of people make really low poly box models and then they'll put them in a subdivision surface to smooth them out. So this is a pretty common technique when modeling. All right, so let's take a subdivision surface and put this really low geometry surface in there. And here's what we have. Now, if you look at your subdivision surface, there's not a whole lot of options in here. You can change the subdivisions if you want, but you can't really dial in. Like if we wanted this seam here to be a little bit tighter and less smooth, it's a little bit hard to do that. So what I've done in the past is if you go into your cube, you can go to uh, a loop path cut and wherever you want it to be, not quite as smooth of a transition, but a bit of a harder transition, you just add in some extra geometry there. And then when you turn in the subdivision surface, you can see that it's a little bit less smooth. So that's one way of doing it. But did you know that you can actually do that in the subdivision surface? There's actually a tag under modeling and it's called the SDS weight tag. And I'm gonna show you how it works. So what we're gonna do is make a selection on one of these edges. So we'll just go to loop selection and we'll go to this cube and we'll select say these two selections right here. So we wanna tighten these up. Let's go back to the subdivision surface and you'll see that these loops are selected. Now here's the trick. Hold the period button down on your keyboard. Just hold that down and then click and drag and go to the left and to the right. So hold period down and then click and drag to the left and to the right. You can make this a very soft transition or you can tighten it up and make it a little bit harder. So something like that. And if you wanna make a different selection, you can go to the bottom, we'll select the base here. And we'll go back to our subdivision surface, hold down period, and then click and drag. You can see that we're able to tweak this quite a bit. And you don't have to turn the subdivision surface off either. You can find the loop selection in here. It might be a little bit harder to visualize, but there it is. And then we can tweak the top one as well. So with just a few clicks and holding down the period button, you're able to really dial in what your subdivision surface looks like and the way that it affects different areas. I hope you found that useful and huge shout out again to Nico for sharing this quick tip. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.